Hi everyone, this is Debra. Today we're gonna to talk about what it's like to be dating after 50 or after 60 years old. It's, uh, you might wanna throw out all of your expectations out the door right now because it's nothing like it was when you were a teenager. Because when you were a teenager and dating, you actually had fun. Dating is painful when you are uh, over 50 or 60. It is scary. It is very time consuming. Uh, for, to give you, for instance, over a 10 year period, uh, I would probably get a hundred texts from, uh, let's say plenty of fish a day. And once you start having a rapport with someone on those dating sites, this is this happened way too many times. Uh, a guy will test you. Uh, he will say, well, uh, let's do this or let's do that. And then if you give him any kind of flack or any kind of resistance, the guy will say, well, it's been nice knowing you. And then every time a guy did that to me, I wouldn't even ever respond anymore because he would give up. Now, once in a blue moon, I would go back and I would say, "Hey, you the one, you know, you you already gave up. You said uh like, you know, it's been nice knowing you or see ya or it's been nice. Those are all lines that they use to uh hook you. They want you to get angry, they want you to respond back to them. And it's all about control. And I would not give them that because I got better things to do. So keep that in mind that they play a lot of games on there. And a lot of guys will expect you to drive to where they're at. No, a real gentleman will meet you halfway or even come to where you live. So don't fall for that. And for heaven's sake, do not give him uh, your phone number right off the bat or let him know what you're driving. Try to keep all that a confidential and your address. So uh, a lot of guys will test you to see what your morals are and uh, whether or not you have a drinking problem. They're going to test you and women do the same. Don't, don't, don't think that they don't. Um, so you really don't want to drink on your first date if you can get away with it. You know, I don't see anything wrong with one beer, but a lot of guys have that on their agenda that they will get you into a situation where you will lose all your inhibitions. So you don't want to lose that on your first date. And, uh, I've been on some dates where the guys did not, uh, they 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 got you in a restaurant and they know it's dinner time but they don't order anything you know they don't order anything for you i have been on many dates where i have had i bought my own food because i didn't want them to think that i was just there for the free meal i usually bought my own food so always keep emergency money in your purse in case this does happen um so let, what else can I tell you? Yeah, you're going to, you're going to get all, the women are going to get a lot of texts on uh, these dating sites and they're going to be from all over, you know, and, and if you've said you don't want anybody under 40 or you don't want anybody, you know, in a radius of more than 40 miles, if they are not respecting that, they're not going to respect anything else about you. I remember when I first got on the dating sites 10 years ago, I put that I didn't want to uh, anybody who's been married multiple times to contact me. Well, a lot of them will keep that a secret and then you find out they've been married three times. Well, the odds are against you. These are not my statistics. Dr. Phil, he will tell you the same thing, that anybody who has been married multiple times, um, that's not a good thing. 
because then you become a statistic. I was married for four decades to one man, so I would be very apprehensive to be with someone that has had multiple marriages because I took my wedding vows very seriously. So now there are some exceptions if your spouse has, you know, passed or, you know, that is a, a difference. That is um, a whole different scenario. So uh, let's see, what else can I say? Um, it's extremely important that you get an updated photo. And a good way to do that is uh, to have the guys like send you a photo with the peace sign. That lets you know it's immediate photo because I've gone on lots of dates where I've seen the guy and he's gained a hundred pounds and I'm sure this has happened to guys too. It, you need to get that updated photo. Uh, a lot of guys don't even know how to do a screenshot or even how to do a photo of themselves. So uh, get someone else to take your photo, you know, because uh, some men do it with very bad lighting and it doesn't put them in a good light. The women do the same thing. And for God's sake, you women, don't, don't put your kitty cats or your, you know, on your um, profile. Because a lot of guys make fun of us older women if we are now the cat lady. Or you guys who put uh, your neighbor's Corvette in the picture, don't. You don't want to give a false impression of yourself. Uh, and, and get a close-up photo because I dated one, two guys. One had a big wart between his eyes and that wasn't um, noticeable in the picture that he sent me. And also a guy only had one eye. You need to watch The Lizard Man if you need a good laugh. So scroll through my 800 videos and you'll see the lizard man um, now all of us once we get you know up in age have medical issues so uh, always keep that in mind that you can't you can't discount someone who's had you know a hip replacement or you know shoulder surgery because most all of us have had something by the time we're 60 so don't let that deter you because uh, there's some really great guys out there. And uh, let's see. I think that's enough for today. Hit that subscribe button. Bye.